The Indian Institute of Technology Madras has been working on morphing wing aircraft technologies, and this one crore rupees project has been sponsored by the DRDO, and as per latest information, good progress has been made in this research project, and is expected to be completed in 2022. When the morphing technology is integrated into an aircraft wing, it will give it an automated shape adaptation capability, that will help it reach the best aerodynamic efficiency in a given flying condition. Aircraft with morphing wing technology are used in multi-role aircraft that change their external shape substantially to adapt to a changing mission environment during its flight span. Morphing wing also enables more efficient aircraft manufacturing, and reduces fuel consumption by improving the wing's aerodynamics as well as improving its agility. The Indian Ministry of Defence has issued a request for information for the procurement of simulators, that can emulate the deep submergence rescue vehicle of the Indian Navy. The Defence Ministry is procuring two sets of simulators, that can prepare the Indian Navy personnel for the submarine rescue vessel, and remotely operated vehicle systems. The simulator should be able to replicate rolling and pitching motions of the actual vehicle, and feature the same look-feel and functionalities, man-machine interface, and same response time to the Indian Navy's submarine rescue vehicle. Hindustan Aeronautics and French company Safran Helicopter Engines had entered into a joint venture known as Helicopter Engine MRO Private Limited in 2016, to establish helicopter maintenance facility, which would initially focus on helicopter engines, and as per latest reports, Hindustan Aeronautics will start the maintenance repair and overhaul of helicopter engines in Goa in the next six months, that will cater to the Safran TM333 engine and HAL Shakti engine installed on HAL built Droof helicopters, Rudra armed helicopters and light combat helicopters operated by the Indian Armed Forces. Senior Air Force officials held discussions with Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and officials of DRDO, to revive the abandoned Amada airstrip. A DRDO team has visited the site, and the work will start in mid-2022, and this new airport would be used both for defence and commercial purposes. The airport is located 30 kilometres from DRDO's Balasore Integrated Missile Test Range, so the scientists can fly to this place directly, and it can also be developed as a backup to the Kalikunda Air Force Station in West Bengal. The Ministry of Defence has issued a request for proposal for the procurement of 220 air defence towed guns, and 1.41 lakh rounds of ammunition for the Indian Army, under the Buy and Make India category, along with providing training and maintenance, and this is the third request for proposal after it was first issued in October 2021. 25 guns and 44,440 rounds of standard and programmable ammunition will be procured directly under the buy category, while the remaining 195 guns and 97,136 rounds of standard ammunition will be procured through the make category of the contract. Military officials have said, that the deployment of the 1st Regiment of the S-400 system will be completed at an airbase in Punjab sector by the end of this month. The 1st Regiment of the S-400 system is being deployed in such a way, that it can cover parts of the border with China in the northern sector, as well as the Pakistan frontier. It is armed with four different kinds of missiles, that can engage targets up to a range of 400 kilometers, and carries two separate radar systems, that can detect aerial targets to a range of 600 kilometers, and can simultaneously engage 80 aerial targets. Russian President Vladimir Putin has unveiled new oil and gas deals with China worth an estimated $117.5 billion and it has been strengthening ties with China, by reducing its dependence on its traditional European energy customers.